Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. This week, we don't have Balazs, either George, so I will help you and guide you on this tank. And probably by the end of the show, we will fix how it looks now, as it's way too overgrown. So please come and join us. This week we will do some trimming and real work, real action. We will trim this aquarium a little bit and put this back into the shape. If you haven't seen our workshop, what we had in uh, approximately three months ago, we built this tank in one day with two other cube aquariums. And this one was kind of a special one because there wasn't really a goal behind it. We wanted to do something differently. We knew that uh, we would do some iron wood and kind of foresty look, but we wanted to do basically a low maintenance tank here to avoid frequent trimming. So that's how the plant selections came in. Of course, the Hydrocotai tripartita is not fit into this roll perfectly. But this was the special touch to the layout and sometimes it's really good to do some unusual things and try plants on a different way like you see in other aquariums. In this aquarium the recipe is kind of the same like in our other tanks. We're using here an Eheim 1200XL filter. This is perfect for this 240 liter aquarium. And with this large filtration, you basically don't need to worry about maintenance or filter too much. So if you're thinking about what kind of filtration to use for these high lit uh, aquariums, I think this model is, is very, very nice. And, you, you will have the clearest water, you probably have the, the less issues with algaes, and uh, of course the maintenance period can be extended even above, I don't know, five or six months without any problems. Of course it's not the goal, but sometimes it's helpful just to, to use a bit larger system than, than uh, the factory recommendation, that's all. We're using a CO2 external reactor and the pressurized CO2 system in this aquarium. We're using, of course, the Twinstar, the uh, Twinstar Nano Plus here, which is perfect for this aquarium size. And uh, yeah, what else we have here? That's the basic technology behind it. And because we use the Sora RGBs on, on most of our tanks, here we're using the old T5 systems just to have kind of a comparison between the current LED technology and also to, to have that old stylish kind of look from the uh, fluorescent tubes. Here, this is a six tube version of the ATI uh, light, but we're using only four of them as I see. So it not need more because we don't have uh, stamp lens. And for this kind of slower grower plants, the four tubes is more than enough. Like with the other aquariums, we're using here seven hours lighting period per day. And the CO2 is kind of on a central timer also here. So it's turning on the same time like with the other tanks. The fertilizers are the same. We're using the Bright TK and the Step 2 or the new one, the mineral from the ADA range. And that's all basically. We don't have too many red plants in this aquarium, so iron is extra iron fertilizer is not really needed. Other than that, we used aqua soil Amazonia as a soil substrate in the background and the power sand under the, the soil. And we used the ADA 
La Plata sand in the foreground to have a lighter appearance and this also gives a very nice, very natural look which works perfectly with these iron woods. So we used a lot of woods in this cape in the very beginning. We had a few wires just to play with these huge wood trunks. We tried to, to set up this cape. We also have many small trees on the on the floor, but uh, these are not really visible anymore because the plants just overtake the aquarium. So because of the lot of woods, uh, we are always getting these questions. How is it so clear, the water, and uh, why we don't see any tints because of the iron wood? So the answer is that shortly we're using secant purigen to, to clear the water. And uh, compared to the factory recommendation, which I think 100 milliliter per 400 liter, we're using a much more uh, purigen usually under a tank, so like four times of the factory recommendation. And these, these special cases when we have a lot of foods, sometimes we even increase it. So normally we would use 200 milliliter for this aquarium, but probably we have around 500 milliliter just to have this uh, clear water here. And still, we're using a lot of purigen and uh, using uh, chemical filtration to avoid color water problems, but uh, still we had a very rough time in the first two or three weeks when, uh, when the tank is cycled and, the, and all the woods just release the tannins and, and the organics into the water. So this water wasn't that clear in the first few weeks for sure. We did of course frequent water changes and use the purigen but still took like like a month to to clear this up completely so at the very beginning we had to weigh down these wood trunks to stay in place we usually not soaking the woods we're just placing into the aquariums and wait a certain period of time to just keep it sink and then we we'll just remove the stones and the weightening stones from uh, from the decoration. That's practical and you do not need a different barrel and will not have uh, you don't need to replace the water in the barrel just to to have that water have that uh, tree synced. Going back to the plant selection, it was a bit different. At the very beginning, we've started with the same kind of uh, forest style of look, forest style of layout, and we've chosen the plants to be kind of small and, and fit into this role. And because of that, we've used Ricardia moss as one of the most uh, slower grower mosses in, the, in this aquarium. Also, we used many small plants like small Bucephalandras, Elocaris mini from Tropica. We also use Hemianthus cuba on the sides. Only that side is visible, the other is not really anymore. And we use Hydrocotyl. We also use Mini Anubias here and there. It was on the, on the woods also. And just to have a nice curtain effect, and uh, because of the tank is like, it's, it's not too deep. It's only 45 centimeter deep. We've, we've uh, planned to use some curtain type of plants, and this was the small new plants from uh, Tropica, which is the Myriophyllum Guyana. This plant is, is really nice and gives a fresh green color. Also can be kept in a very small size, like a 10 centimeter or 15. But if you let it go, as you see, it grows up into the surface and still it stays small. So compared to the Mato Grossens, uh, version of Mirophilum, where the plant is just getting larger and larger because of the lot of light, it stays smaller. So the ratios will not mix up and your layout will still look good. And just to make a little bit, little twist on this layout, we've used the Hydrocotyl tripartita on the top of the tanks. This aquarium is like I said, it's overgrown and it needs to be cared. I, I spent a few minutes before I started this video just to see where we should go. Should I trim it back uh, completely and just keep the tree trunks and the little bit of hydrocotyl and, and have a clean background? But I think the aquarium is in a phase right now where uh, I shouldn't remove most of the plants because I really like the as the uh, this side uh, looks with this carpeting plants and the small medial film in the background 
I'm actually missing the similar look on the other side. So this side is kind of a bit of a dark and we don't have uh, the mirror film here. We have on the center, but not on the side. So I think with the trimming and the maintenance part, the goal will be that to have kind of a similar effect like we have on the right side and just mimic it to the, to the left side of the aquarium. So when you consider a maintenance on an aquarium like this, when the plants are really matured and uh, the aquarium is kind of an overgrown, you should think about what uh, plants need to be trimmed, what is not needed to be taken care of. If I show the still image, which you can see now, the reds giving a nice touch to the green layout. So hydrocotyl is a good extension to the layout, but it's really overgrown. So I probably will remove the hydrocotyl from, from this foreground, from the sides also, and then from this part. And we use just small bits here and there, just to keep that uh, reddish hue in the tank. For the trimming part, I probably will use three tools for that. We use my favorite scissors from ADA. This is kind of a universal one and I really like the length of the trimming scissor. It's very convenient to use, very easy to use. The tool itself is very handy. So this is kind of a, a universal off-the-shelf tool for all kind of trimming. I probably will use this small uh, pin set just to to make final touches on the foreground. And we use the larger one to, to work in the background with the larger plants, like the mirror film Guyana. So what do you guys think? Should we start on the trimming? So let's go. Let's just stop the filter and uh, stop the CO2. And because of that, probably we'll do some small cuttings here, so I will not remove any water now. We'll try to, to work this way and we'll see how it goes. Let's go. And we have a lot of rich air here, so we should remove it from, uh, from the aquarium at the same time, just to have that clean look and avoid any algae outbreaks because uh, this rich air is just uh, just getting too much dirt and uh, after some time the algae will appear also. Okay, I kind of like when, uh, the, when uh, Pinatifida is on the trees, so probably we will put back some in later on. So if you let it go, Pinatifida will just draw out from your water. These forest style aquariums are typically the ones which are a bit harder to, to trim and do the maintenance because there are limited space where you can fit in with your hands. Beautiful pieces, right? Yeah, this small plant is, is a new development from, uh, from Tropica and uh, you can use it for a small aquariums like 60 centimeter, 40, 60 liter aquarium also, but still you can use it in a large aquarium as, and giving some uh, some really good effect with the, with the use of it. So the left side of the tank is getting there. It's uh, clearing up nicely as we removed a lot of uh, tripartita from the trees and also We've added in a lot of Mirofilum Guyana to the back. Hopefully, as this will receive more light, it will be more bushy uh, at the end. And because we've cleared up this uh, corner also on this side, it starts to look much clearer and nicer. So let's just continue the work on the center part of the aquarium and uh, and then finish up the other side of the tank too.
right, guys, that's it. We had a nice streaming session. It took about one and a half hour, so it wasn't too quick, but the result is fine. Now the light is spreading nicely in the tank. We had to remove many hydrocotyl from the aquarium, also replace and uh, remove some uh, Mirofilm Guyana in the tank to just to have a dense uh, background on the left side of the tank. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will like it. So please subscribe if you haven't done yet or click the bell to get instant notification on our future uploads. And uh, yeah, please feel free to put some comments on the video, what else uh, you would do, what plants you would try in the tank, or if you would do this completely in a different way, just let us know, we are interested about that. So guys, that was it. See you until next week. Ciao.